Now that we know that the body is moving properly, now that we know that there's no physical limitations, it's time to start refining the skill of the kip and the pull. So why is that important? It's because it's basically the engine. Without that, the movement is not going to be uh, as uh, powerful, it's not going to be as fluid. And this is why it's important to understand the power of the hip, the power of the shoulder, and how to actually activate it. So before we start there, um, as an ex-gymnast, safety first. So it means that once you practice, I would highly encourage that you put your thumb around the bar. Uh, why? Because first of all, it increases the surface area. With more in surface area, you're going to have a better uh, grip, grip strength. If you have a better grip strength, you're going to be able to hang on the bar for a little bit longer and be able to keep practicing your skill or fit in a bit more reps if you're in a competition. So now that we know how to grab the bar, we move on to the hollow position and superman position. So hollow position and the superman position are also key positions to understand to the point that you're mastering them that you don't even think about them anymore. Uh, this is where the power is generated. So understanding how the core is activated, understanding how the back is activated, the shoulders are activated. And this is where once you understand that, you're going to be able to bring it to the bar. So the beat swing. The beat swing is a combination of the hollow position and the arch position. And that's why it's very important to understand it and apply it properly. Because without that, you're not going to be able to generate the power to be able to elevate the body to touch the bar to the chest. So with that in mind, this is where we go to our last um, refinement process, which is the scap pull-up. So understanding the movement of the shoulder, understanding how the shoulder is moving in space is key because we need to match that movement with the speed and power you generate, you generate with the beat swing. So as you're kipping, the body, the shoulders, the chest needs to be moving in synchronization or in perfect timing so that you don't lose that rhythm. So understanding these basic skills are going to be able to uh, put you in the right position to be able to do the chest-to-bar pull-up more efficiently.